right, and welcome to the Gun News Network. Today it is Halloween, October 31st. All the kids are out trick-or-treating, and I got an article for you. It's not going to be a long show today. It's just going to be one article for now. It's Halloween. I'm sure you guys want to just stuff your faces with candy and dress up like uh, anima- animals and uh, fairies. And whatnot. So uh, here we go. Let's get right to it. This is my local news. Six ABC Action News. Philadelphia, PA. Action News investigation. Ghost guns on Philadelphia streets. They so they've reached all the way from California now to Philadelphia streets. Hmm. Wendy Saltzman, I really don't know uh, who that reporter is, and I can't watch the video because I don't have the flesh update. So, oh well. We'll just go through the article then. Anyone, anyone with a few hundred bucks can buy what's called a ghost gun online. Within a, four hours, we build a semi-automatic firearm in the Action News Investigation Office. And law enforcement now can tell Action News these same guns are ending up in the hands of criminals on Philadelphia's streets. AK-47s, AR-15s, complete do-it-yourself kits for almost any kind of assault rifle or pistol are peddled online to anyone. No ID, background check, date of birth, or any identification information required. It costs Action News just $600, and five days later, we're nearly complete we- with a nearly complete weapon arrived at our door. So, uh, $600, That's, that doesn't seem like money a criminal's going to plop down to, to, I mean, maybe if they're in a gang, but whatever. I just don't get it. I can see the circumstances happening. I just don't know how you'd stop it. Seems like this is uh, right here is a veiled call for internet censorship. So, or or uh, merchandise being sold on the internet to be regulated. So that's what I read when I read between the lines. So let's go on. Let's. See what they got next with the help of a complete how to instruction posted online. And there they go, they're attacking now, they're attacking information on the internet that is purely just there for educational purposes. On YouTube, you can catch like 150 million videos of different guys in their garages or kitchens or basements building uh, AK 47s or putting together AR 15s. So, uh, yeah, with the help of a complete how-to instructions posted online in the Action News Engineer, (laughs) the Action News Engineer, we drilled out the trigger chamber, called an 80% lower. I I guess that is. And built a fully functional firearm. Former ATF special agent in charge of Sammy Rabati, in charge, Sammy Rabati said it's, these guns that pose one of the biggest risks to law enforcement. I'd like to see the stats on that. A lot of times when uh, police unions get together to write these articles, they're, they're usually pushing something for somebody and it's an agenda. And I know the police, the state police in Pennsylvania, their union support uh, universal background checks. So having to have only guns that have been bought from a FFL and not built at home. Seems like they're calling for that again here in Pennsylvania, universal background checks with the backing of uh, your friendly state policeman. Maybe not him, but 
who he's working for. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that the biggest threat to uh, law enforcement? Ghost guns? I don't know. Nobody's talking anyway. So uh, we'll just continue on for video's sake. What I have here in front of me is an actual AR-15 said Rabati, Robot Eye. Robot Eye? We'll just call him Robot Eye. It is absolutely dangerous. As a law enforcement officer, the last thing I want to do is go up against a criminal who has a firearm like this. It's essentially a civilian version of an M16, which is a military rifle. All right. They must have got, like, the cream of the crop, biggest of dumbass special uh, agent at the ATF in Pennsylvania they could find. They were like, who's, who's your biggest anti-gunner? Okay, we'll take him. Rabbit Eye. Is that his name? No. Yeah, Sam. So an M16, an AR-15 is the exact is the civilian version of an M16 to them. Telling the, the, the these are for the masses too, the masses of uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the local masses. Beyond being powerful, when used in a crime. Rabbit Eye, Robot Eye, we'll just call him Rabbit Eye. We'll change his name again. Said it hampers an officer's ability to track who bought the weapon or find clues as to how it got in a potential dangerous criminal's hands. But these ghost guns are 100% legal. Ghost guns is another fabricated term by the anti gun bigots that want. That want to try to demonize something, said Alexander Rubian, president of the New Jersey Second Amendment Society. Well, I think he's right about that. Rubian said there are legitimate reasons these low-cost firearms are desirable to gun enthusiasts and laymen alike. This is actually a... This is actually very liberating for people who want to build a firearm for their own self-defense or personal use that might be on a fixed income on a low budget, said Rubian. Rubian took action news to a gun range to test the weapon to show us how the gun fires and to explain why he believes a gun without a serial number should be legal. There's never been an epidemic with criminals going and building their own firearms, said Rubian. And I agree with them there, because I've seen no evidence online and statistics or anything like that. They're always stolen guns or something of the nature. If criminals want to acquire firearms, as they do now, they always they find ways of doing it. But Robot Eye who headed Philadelphia's field office at the ATF for the last five years, said there's good reason for Philadelphians to be troubled. They're being used in crimes. They are being discovered at crime scenes, said R Robot Eye. <laughs> These types of firearms are available in the city here. This is a concern for Mayor Jim Kenney. Well, I really don't care what's a concern for Jim Kenney. He needs to educate himself before he starts concerning himself with problems he doesn't know anything about. We lost 277 people last year to gun violence, said Kenny. Okay, well, that's them just adding a number. This doesn't mean uh, people were shot by ghost guns. There were most likely 277 people uh, and we don't know what they're counting as gun violence, so who knows where they're getting these numbers. And he expects those numbers to jump to 10% more this year. <clears throat> We're going to continue to have carnage that we have, that we have, he said, whatever. Rabbit Eye, who says he's a strong supporter of the Second Amendment, mm -hmm, said he... <laughs> just isn't a supporter of unserialized weapons ending up in the wrong hands. 
This is just another avenue that makes it much easier for a violent criminal to get their hands on a gun that is totally untraceable, said Rebidai. Rebidaya. Maybe he's Amish. It's the Amish branch of uh, the ATF. Rabbit I said, since the laws do allow for people to make homemade guns for their own protection, it's in the hands of Congress to close the loophole that are allo- that are allowing untraceable guns to end up on our streets. And that's it. But, uh, yeah, so it looks like another uh, season of legislative movements in both state and federal houses. So uh, we're probably going to see an uptick in these kind of articles. And it kind of makes you wonder where, like when you go back to my other videos and you see uh, the anti-gun groups that are spending money, uh, where are they spending this money? I mean, it's not just ads can't just be ads and uh, whatever. They have to be, you know, paying for some of this propaganda because I can't see any other reason for a real journalist to write this garbage and do absolutely zero work these days. I don't trust any of it. I don't trust any of the mainstream media. So that's what this channel's about. We're going to uh, keep reading them. Mainstream, maybe sometimes we'll go off. And uh, do something fun or do something else. But that's about it for today, guys. So uh, thanks for joining me. And watch out for them ghost guns because it's Halloween. And I hear they got the crappiest candy. So uh, thanks for joining me. And I'll see you later.